feeling you can't hit it out of the park every year. I'm barely 34, and I've already landed a Parks Department Exploratory Subcommittee. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bad seasons from good TV shows. And as I wrote about my life, I relived it. And whatever I didn't like, I rearranged. For this list, we're looking at television shows that are generally thought to be of high quality, but which had one season that was a particular low point. We're not discussing shows that gradually declined in quality, because we already have a list for that. And he returned to a long-neglected model home he believed to be empty. To clarify, we don't think these shows are bad. In fact, we think the opposite, but not all seasons hit the mark. Since we'll be discussing plot points from these seasons, beware of potential spoilers. Call her. I'm calling her. Great. Here I go. Number 10, season three, Arrow. I warned you it would be difficult. I just thought that I'd, <clears throat> we'd have more time. This badass adaptation of DC's character Green Arrow featured another DC legend, Ra's al Ghul, as the big bad of its third outing. You had nothing to offer then. And you have nothing to offer now. It was therefore incredibly disappointing to see the show drag out a soapy will-they-won't-they they romance between Oliver and Felicity, hardly utilizing its extremely underdeveloped villain. You opened up my heart in a way I didn't even know was possible. Not only did it bore fans of the series, it also pissed off diehard Batman fans, as the show was accused of ripping off characters from a better-known franchise. It's as if you developed an addiction to thirsty At least The Flash had a stellar first season that same year, compensating for Team Arrow's shortcomings. Number 9, Season 2, Friday Night Lights. Fix it. What? Fix it. Despite the later critical acclaim and awards this series received, it nearly became a forgotten two-season cancellation victim thanks to this sophomore slump. Don't just stand by and watch it happen. You know what I'm saying? For a show that's unapologetically about small-town football, there really wasn't enough football. Coach wasn't even coaching. Rather, it focused on why the Panthers and Coach needed each other without really progressing any storylines. Oh, and don't even get us started on that random murder cover-up subplot. Coroner found some car seat fibers in a dead guy's jacket zipper. We're thinking it came from the vehicle that took him to the river. The show isn't entirely to blame, though, as the season was cut seven episodes short thanks to the Writers Guild of America strike. Y'all do light. not need to finish this off. Red light. We need to go take oh, stop it! Number 8, Season 2, Heroes. Speaking of a sophomore slump, Heroes came off its astounding first season flying high before crashing and burning. You and I have trust issues, Doctor. Give it to her first. Let me see you save her. Then if it works, I'll let you save me. The series didn't seem to know what the main storyline was, and it certainly took its time advancing the abundance of plots, including more than one hackneyed love story. Do the marks hurt? No. They're kind of just there. Painless souvenirs of my alien abduction from the guy with horn-rimmed glasses. Series creator Tom Kring has gone on record about his regrets for this season, acknowledging that there was a lack of direction and pacing, stating that the events of the seventh episode should have taken place in the first one. Yikes. Look, I know you're looking for answers. We all are. But trust me, I am not the guy to give them to you. Number 7, Season 9, Scrubs. I've finally figured out the key to getting everything done at medical school. Do a bunch of things at once and never sleep. This is the first final season of a series on our list, and it certainly won't be the last. Check out these brows. I'm on my way around a pair of tweezies. Despite a respectable attempt to revitalize the show by moving it to a different location, the new characters and writers simply didn't stick like the previous ones. I was just gonna say that you haven't done any cutting of our cadaver yet. Hmm. I know, I'm psyched to get in there. Hells yeah, my woman's gonna go all Edward Scissorhands on his ass. Series creator Bill Lawrence even wanted to change the name of the show to Scrubs Med School to differentiate it from the previous eight seasons, which he considered the entirety of the original series. I prefer Dr. D or in a pinch Dr. Dizzle, but if you see me out in the quad. There is no quad. 
I'm not a big fan of the TAs doing a lot of speaking, Denise. Sadly, the low quality resulted in low ratings, and we were forced to say goodbye to what remained of a once great sitcom. We don't always get to choose who deserves and who wants our help. That's it. Why you gotta always ruin pastry time? Number six, season four, Arrested Development. We're gonna put you in a ninja loan. No income, no jobs, no assets, and you don't have to pay a penny for two years. Oh, ninja, please! One of the first in the current television trend of rebooting canceled series, Netflix picked up a fourth season of this show seven years after it was canceled. If they don't get their money soon, they're gonna be really mad, and then they're gonna have a major Mongolian beef with us. They're there. Okay. Uh, we don't have any money. The reaction to this announcement was pure excitement followed by pure disappointment. You know what? I am done with this family. I hope you've saved some money because you're going to need every dime now. While the reviews weren't terrible, this iteration decided to take place over a short amount of time, focusing on different characters in each episode. Wrong house, buddy. <laughs> no. This is my son, Lem Depardieu. This robbed the series of the chemistry between the dysfunctional Bluth family which is what made the original series great. He's in denial. We're Your getting divorced. Your mother and divorced. I are getting a divorce. Ah, ah. Number five, season one, Parks and Recreation. They cut his face off. And they made it into a dream catcher. And they made his legs into rain sticks. And that's the great thing about Indians back then is they used every part of the pioneer. We know what you're thinking. Parks and Recreation was one of the best comedy series of the last decade. Let me tell you something, Tom. You suck at Scrabble. I know. You're destroying me. You're worse than my ex-wife, and she's terrible at Scrabble. And she's a bitch. That's entirely true, save for the first six episodes. The characters were underdeveloped, the jokes weren't particularly funny, and it all felt like a less funny ripoff of The Office. When you work closely with someone and you share similar interests and you have a similar worldview and you're passionate about the same things, things can happen. We slept together. Some even complained that the show was too mean-spirited, as most episodes ended with the optimistic Leslie coming up short. Good to go and check it. Oh, no. <laughs> Thankfully, NBC gave the show another chance, and the following six seasons gave us likable, surprisingly realistic characters, and allowed its wonderful cast to finally shine. Sweet Hello. kick, Leslie exits the building, and then you get hit. <laughs> Number four, season nine, Roseanne. You said you would not really rather be with Major Healy now, would you, Master? Well. I guess the moon can wait. <laughs> Many of the entries on this list are criticized for betraying the heart of the show, and that's most obvious in this sitcom's final season. You're talking to us like you think we're a bunch of hicks, but you're the real hick. You're totally out of touch with what the American people want. Roseanne won audiences over with its realistic portrayal of a struggling working class family, but that was all thrown out the window when the Connors won the lottery. Um, if we were here to uh, collect $108 million, uh, where would we go? Oh, you're the one, huh? You know I had two of those numbers? Well, thanks for your dollar. To add insult to injury, in the series finale, we learn that the entire series was actually just a story written by Roseanne, and what she didn't like about her real life, she changed. I tried to imagine myself as Mary Richards, Jeannie, that girl, but I was so angry, I was more like a female Steven Seagal, wanting to fight the whole world. The most heartbreaking thing is that we never really got a chance to say goodbye to the characters of this legendary sitcom. It's that in each life, some rain falls, but you also get some sun. Number three, season two, The Walking Dead. It's all good. You all must know by now that we at Watch Mojo dig The Walking Dead, but this season just wasn't up to snuff. I don't get it. Oh man, you don't. Despite a promising beginning, audiences slowly realized that by the halfway point, nothing was really happening. How can you think like that? After a first season that established the show as one of the most thrilling and shocking dramas of all time, this season focused far too much on the walking and not enough on the dead. Come on, let me give you a lift. My feet work just fine. Despite an upswing in the last few episodes, too much of this season feels like filler material in a show where we expect more. Boy's having a baby, man. Congratulations.
Thank you. Number two, season eight, Dexter. Oh, you have a very low fat to muscle ratio. Well, thanks, I do what I can, you know. And here's yet another unfortunate final season. I wake up every day thinking of every bad decision that I ever made because of you. Dexter had been criticized for declining quality for several seasons, but was still relatively well regarded. That is, until they reached their end game. It looks like a piece of it has been scooped out, like with a melon baller. It just got weird. While the whole season ended up being extremely boring, when it should have been taking more risks, the final nail in the coffin was the disastrous series finale, which saw Dexter mercy killing his adoptive sister and faking his own death to become a lumberjack. While it's certainly not how we expected our favorite serial killer to end up, it's definitely not how we wanted it. Small. Don't worry, I'll grow. How does it feel to be a father? I have no idea. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Well, we've been here before. Of course we have. It's the cockpit, dummy. We come here all the time. I'm sure there are plenty of brides who want to kill their maid of honor. I'm not one of them. Hey, you want a piece of me? I'm right here. Standing right here. Come on. Do you have any idea what happened right here in this very bar? No. What happened? Just, just all kinds of stuff. All I'm saying is we have to be careful. We're operating way outside our jurisdiction, and like it or not, this man has rights. He will volunteer the information. Of that, I am certain. I can't count the reasons I should stay. One by one, they all just fade away. Number one, season four, Community. So the rest of us will have to pick up the slack. And yes, Jeffrey, I assume you're out because of your track record of literally being too cool for school. We hate to pick on such a criminally underrated show, but we just can't forgive the only season of this cult classic that was severely missing its showrunner, Dan Harmon. I'll have you know that wanting a little pageantry in your life isn't a crime or a lifestyle choice. While earlier and later seasons were praised for their unique and interesting stories, Harmon's departure made it difficult for the show to be as clever as it once was. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle anybody. And I thought my hair looked fake. Additionally, the season was plagued by controversy surrounding Chevy Chase badmouthing the show, walking off set and using racist slurs, resulting in his departure late in the season. Suck it, bozos. You're getting ditched by the cool kids. Thankfully, the creator returned to the show for two additional, better seasons. And a movie? We can only hope. That even if we go somewhere, we're not going anywhere. Do you agree with our list? Treat me like Judas, judging me like Judy. What's your least favorite season of your favorite TV show? I'm so sorry. We'll cover more ground tomorrow. For more consistently fantastic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Wouldn't that be the course of action taken by an overtly sexual man? A man who owns a pair of matador pants?